McFarland standards are utilized by microbiologists to adjust the density of various bacterial suspensions. This is a common and essential technique used in the microbiology lab. This hardy tutorial video will teach the viewer how to make semi-quantitative bacterial suspensions and serial dilutions using McFarland standards. McFarland standards were originally prepared by adding barium chloride to sulfuric acid, resulting in a turbid barium sulfate precipitation. Today, the use of latex particle suspensions is widely accepted, since latex beads are far more stable. McFarland standards are commercially available from concentrations ranging from a 0.5 standard to an 8.0 standard. The approximate cell density differs per McFarland standard. The approximate bacterial cell density of a 0.5 McFarland standard is 1.5 times 10 to the 8 CFUs per milliliter of sample. Next, we will cover how to prepare a bacterial suspension that is adjusted to a 0.5 McFarland using a pure culture. In this example, the organism was grown on triptic soy auger with sheep blood. Be sure to use a culture that is no more than 24 hours old. Older cultures may contain a higher percentage of dead bacteria. To begin, using aseptic technique, use a sterile cotton swab and touch three to five well-isolated colonies. The number of colonies will vary depending on the particular organism you are working with. In other words, if the colonies are small, then you will need to pick up more of them. Inoculate the bacteria from the swab into an appropriate diluent by rubbing the swab against the bottom and sides of the tube to create a turbid suspension. A 5 milliliter tube of saline is used in this example. Rotate the swab several times to ensure the bacteria is evenly inoculated into the diluent. Before removing the swab from the tube, press firmly on the inside wall of the tube above the fluid level. This will remove excess fluid from the swab. Firmly secure the cap to the suspension and vortex briefly to homogenize. Gently invert several times if you are not using a vortex mixer. Alternatively, you may opt to adjust the turbidity of an actively growing broth culture. Gently invert the 0.5 McFarland standard and the prepared bacterial suspension. Do not use a mechanical mixer or vortexer with latex standards. This could destroy the latex particles. Using a bright light, compare the 0.5 McFarland standard tube against the bacterial suspension using a white card with contrasting black lines. This card is called a Wickerum card. If preparing a 0.5 McFarland standard, adjust the bacterial suspension to obtain a turbidity matching the 0.5 McFarland standard. Equal obliteration or distortion of contrasting black lines on the white background indicates a turbidity match. Adjusting the turbidity appropriately is important as a too high or too low concentration may lead to false resistant or false susceptible results when performing antimicrobial susceptibility testing or AST. To increase the turbidity, inoculate the tube with more bacteria from the swab. To decrease the turbidity, add more of the broth or saline to dilute your sample. Standardized bacterial suspensions can be diluted in order to obtain an approximate final concentration of the organism. In this example, we will use the bacterial suspension that was adjusted to a 0.5 McFarlane in saline. This McFarlane will have a concentration of 1.5 times 10 to the 8 CFUs per 1 milliliter of sample. We will reduce the concentration of the organism 100-fold, commonly referred to as a 1 to 100 dilution. Using good aseptic technique, aliquot 50 microliters using a mechanical pipette and transfer to another 5 milliliter tube of saline. Place the cap back on the tube and vortex to homogenize. The approximate concentration of the organism in this tube is now 1.5 times 10 to the 6 CFUs per milliliter. If we repeat this dilution, the next 5 milliliter saline in this series is expected to have a concentration of approximately 1.5 times 10 to the 4 CFUs per milliliter, 
as the concentration has been reduced 100 times once more. For the next three tubes in this example, we will reduce the concentration by tenfold rather than 100-fold. Note that since this is a lower dilution factor than the previous example, the aliquot is larger. Aseptically transfer a 500 microliter aliquot to the next 5 milliliter tube. This tube in the dilution series has an approximate concentration of 1.5 times 10 to the third CFUs per milliliter. Repeating this dilution twice more would result in an approximate concentration of 1.5 times 10 to the second CFUs per milliliter and 15 CFUs per milliliter respectively. In this way, you can reach the desired bacterial concentrations using this dilution method. Hardy Diagnostics is your complete microbiology supplier. Check out our catalogs in the links below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials and product videos. Remember to turn on notifications to be notified of new videos as they are released. Hardy Diagnostics is 100% employee owned and has been serving microbiologists for over 40 years. To learn more about Hardy Diagnostics and the products we offer, visit us at hardydiagnostics.com.